guys, I'm here today with a video I've been so excited to do. It is my Sephora VIB sale recommendation and wish list video. I have been watching people's friends and family sale, which I think is ending maybe today. And I did not know when the VIB sale was starting. And I saw Trend Mood on Instagram posted about it last night. And she took a picture of a card. And it starts for VIB Rouge, November 6th through the 9th. There is the in-store event on the 5th. So I would say that the regular VIB sale may start the 7th, the day after the 6th, or it may start the 10th. I don't know. But I know VIB Rouge starts November 6th, and unless you go to the in-store event on the 5th, which I think I may do. I went last year, me and my daughter, and it was kind of fun. So... If you do not know, this Sephora VIB sale every year is 20% off, just like the friends and family. However, right now, I don't know how much longer it's going to go. Derm Store is doing 30% off, and they have a lot of Sephora brands. The code is just for the number 4U, the letter U, 30. And I'll put it in the down below. Um, in the description box down below so you can check it out if there's some things that you've been wanting to pick up from Sephora that they carry there. Um, there may be a few items I end up picking up there right now that are on my wish list. I'll tell you about that because I don't have tax on that and it's free shipping. I've never ordered from Derm Store so I can't attest to their customer service but anyways. So I have been on a low buy this year. However, I am I have a little bit of a gift card and I'm allowing myself to spend that on some items so my wish list is definitely not I'm not gonna pick up all of those items by any stretch of the imagination but it's just a lot of items that I've been really looking at for I this list compiles for like every year so it's been going since last year and I plan on just looking at the stuff in person I may not even pick up some of these things or I may pick up completely different things. Because once you start seeing everybody's sale hauls, you see all these things that you didn't think about. Because a lot of these are new to my list since I've been watching people's friends and family hauls. Or you see a lot of the stuff in the checkout line that you didn't know existed. Um, you know, the travel size things. Like last year, Bite Beauty had all the little mini lippies that I don't think were even on the site at the time. And I ended up picking a few of those. And it's just really fun stuff. So... Anyways, I will start off with what is on my loves list and just kind of talk about it. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm by no means picking up these things. These are just the things that are kind of on my radar and I want to look at in person. Okay, so this is going to be the order of what's more recent in my mind to the ones that have been there a while. First off, the Bobbi Brown Art Stick Trio. This I only want for that one shade, the Brown Berry shade. I won't, it says online only. I don't think I'm going to pick up this set because it comes with a pink and a red that I do not want. But I think if those are shades that you like, it would be worth looking at because I do have one of the Bobbi Brown Art Sticks and it's really nice. But I'm just mainly going to keep my eye out and see if the Brown Berry ever um, pops up for sale regular size. Then the Bobbi Brown High Shimmer Lip Gloss in the shade Citrus, which is described as a bright coral with pearl. I follow somebody on Instagram. She used to make videos, well tailored. Posted a picture of herself the other day wearing the NARS Chelsea Girl Lip Lacquer in the pot, which the um, lip gloss is actually on my list as well. And she had the Citrus Lip Gloss over it, and it looked so pretty. So I want to check it out because I think she's the one that turned everybody on to Buxom Celeste and that's a really pretty gloss. So it's definitely worth looking at the citrus. And that NARS Chelsea Girl Lip Lacquer in the Pot. If I get the new Chelsea Girls, I'm going to finally throw away the pot because the pot stinks like... Ugh. Okay. Next up is the Alterna Hair Care Caviar Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner Set. They have a set for 54. The regular retail is 64, which is crazy, 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 I know, for shampoo and conditioner. But I am tempted to check it out, or at least look at it on Derm Store. Just think about it. Maybe even get, like, if they have a travel size at the checkout, the little sets like they do a lot of times on Black Fridays. Maybe pick up one of those, wait for the end. I don't know. It's just something I'm wanting to look at. I've seen a lot of people talk about that recently. Um, the Ciate Olivia Palermo collection in the shade Napa Valley. I've seen so many people posting this on Instagram and everywhere else. 
and it looks like a really pretty just maroon burgundy um, Napa Valley it's described as a wine red i am never tried any of the Ciate polishes and Olivia Palermo has really good style and I always love her nail polish colors so it's definitely I think you know it could be good and last year the um, Formula X had a holiday polish that I didn't even know about to the day of the sale and I picked that up I think it was alchemy and it's so pretty so it's stuff like that like stuff that you don't even find out about to the last minute so this is obviously I'm not getting everything but it's not even a hard and fast um list the Bobbi Brown creamy lip color in the shade Pell mauve I definitely want to check that out it looks totally up my alley it's described as a sheer pink mauve and I don't think I've used any of her creamy lip colors. I have a creamy matte. And I've used some of the regular ones back in the day. And also there is right now a Luxe lip color in Pell Mauve. Out of stock. It's 35 The creamy one is 27 So I kind of want to know what the difference is in those. But I don't think I would pay the extra price. I don't know. Okay, two Jaclyn Hill things which everybody knows she's bad for the wallet the Giorgio Armani Armani eyes to kill in the shade five gold blitz it looks so pretty that's on my list and the blush that she featured a few times recently Giorgio Armani in the shade 200 it looks like it could be really pretty or really scary and bad but you know I just I'm kind of Looking at it, watching it, not saying I'm picking it up. The Laura Mercier um, Cheek Color and Spice Cider, which is described as a medium tawny with gold pearl. Brianna Stanko talks about that blush a lot. I think her and her sister do. Um, I would like to check that out. The Clinique Cheek Pops. I have, there's four of them that I'm kind of like always wanting. First off is Pansy Pop. Cola Pop, which is another crazy one, but I think it could be pretty. Melon Pop, which just looks like kind of a fun baby pink um, everyday color. And Ginger Pop, which I have Peach Pop, so I don't even think I need to worry about Ginger Pop. But those are just ones that I want to look at. Maybe swatch in person. The Clinique Soft Press Powder Blusher and Plum Gorgeous Makeup by Tiffany D. Has been talking about this one a lot and she influences a lot of my choices so i would like to look at that in person that one looks so old school the dior lip maximizer um gloss she talks about that one as well i think i definitely want to get this definitely a few people that i watch and trust their opinions really like that um oh this i just recently added to my list it's the Sephora, the Black Magic Makeup Remover Cloths. You get a set of two of them for $12, like the Magic Makeup Eraser. Um, that would definitely, I mean, $12, and then with the discount, it's definitely something worth looking at. Um, the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Cream in Leche, which is described as a dusty pale pink. A lot of the matte lip cream regular colors aren't really my typical shades of like kind of the nude pale pink and that is so I definitely want to check that out Urban Decay Riff the eyeshadow is just that kind of everyday brown I want to look at that the NARS Velvet Lip Gloss and Frivolous this has been on my list for almost a year Lisa Lisa D1 inspired this thought um like a year ago almost iridescent seashell pink I want to look at that in person. I have one of the Velvet Gloss Lip Pencils and I absolutely love it. And I'm pretty sure that's the one she used to talk about. If any of you um, know, you can feel free to correct me. The Commodity Moss Scent. I want to smell that, but I don't think my Sephora has it. Makeup TIA recently talked about that in a video. And the way she described it sounded so interesting that I would definitely want to smell it. And then the Tokyo Milk Femme Fatale Collection Bulletproof in the Rollerball. I think I want that. It is described as, let me tell you. The notes are jasmine, coconut, tonka, cinnamon, cedar, patchouli, and clove. 
that sounds totally up my speed. And I have a few of the Tokyo Milk perfumes. Um, a little Tainted Love and I think Bittersweet. I think that's the two. And I absolutely love them both. The Bite Beauty Opal Lip Gloss I really want to look at because it looks like it would be really pretty and fun. Um, I want to swatch the Becca Jaclyn Hills Champagne Pop Highlighter. I don't think I'll pick it up. I don't think I need it, but I definitely want to look at it as well as the Becca Flower Child Blush. Okay. Please do not think this is all you're like, you've been on a no buy and you're listing everything. No, I, these are just things I want to check out. The Sephora Lip Gels and the shade Baby Doll Nude Alert and Tickled Pink. I want to look at those in person. They look like they could be a really fun, um, pretty lip. The Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss and Moon Glow. I think I really want that for sure. Um, a bunch of people I know or watch have been talking about that. And it's described as a soft pink nude. And I've never tried any of the Marc Jacobs glosses. I have some of his lipsticks and like them. Let me see what else. This is, you know, real professional. Marc Jacobs Liner and Primrose. I definitely think I want that. Um, the Clinique Acne Solutions BB in the shade Light. I would love to try it. Makeup by Tiffany D talks about it. I think it's exclusive to Sephora. So I may see if I can get a sample of it and then give it a try and then maybe pick it up while the sale's still going on. And the Clinique Black Honey Mascara in the Chubby Lash Fattening. I kind of want to try that. I just don't know if it would even show up. So if you have that, please tell me if it's worth even looking at. Because I think it looks so pretty. I love the black honey shades. And I love those colors on my eyes. I just don't know if it would even be worth it. The Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Hand Cream. I want to test that out. I love the perfume, but it's really heavy. So I'd have to test out the hand cream and see if it would be too much. And then the Sephora Collection Oil Infusion Lip Gloss in the shade Ice Coffee. I definitely want to see that in person as well. Because it looks like it could be similar to the YSL, um, you know, tint in oils that I like so much. So those are the things I want to check out. Definitely uh, not everything is would be something I would want. And my parents always buy me a Sephora order as part of my Christmas present. It's been a tradition for I don't know, at least like 12 years now, I pick out some things that my mom places in order during the sale and I get a box of Sephora goodies for Christmas. So it's, I always give her a list of things. So some of those things I'll give her as ideas and we'll see. But um, those are some things I want to check out. Definitely a lot of stuff I want to look at, but definitely not everything coming home with me. And then I pulled a few items I wanted to mention to y'all that I think are things worth picking up or looking at if you're in the market for anything new at the Sephora sale. And so let's get started. First off, I want to mention two Hourglass products. The Hourglass palette, the new one that came out that has um, some of the powders, blush, and the bronzer. I know it's so expensive. And I know a lot of people are complaining about the sizes, but if you've wanted to try a bunch of those products, I think it's a good deal because if you have a ton of makeup, it's not like you're going to go through a lot of makeup often. It is really pricey and I don't have it. I'm not picking it up. So I'm not saying like I necessarily recommend it, but I think it's worth checking out because I have the Hourglass powder, face powder palette that I love. I know people have the blush palette they love. Um, so, you know, it's definitely worth checking out, but I definitely recommend the Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. Because these are kind of expensive bronzers. And with the sale, I picked mine up during the springtime sale. And I have loved it so much. It's definitely been my favorite bronzer of the year. And then just the powders are really great. I have Diffuse Light and love it. I have to recommend it. The face powder palette, I don't think they have anymore. But I would, if they had it, I would get it again. Like if I had it to go back and do over, I would still pick it up. Okay. For eye palettes, I thought I would just mention one that I think is really worth checking out. The Becca Ombre Rouge palette I, is also something I want to look at in person. So, but um, the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. It has been my favorite favorite palette this year. It is freaking gorgeous. The shades are amazing. You get a lot of colors. They're easy to blend. They're easy to work with. They're lovely. They're so pretty. And they're, um, I mean... Like, these are kind of cooler, but overall it is definitely warm, but it's so wonderful. I love it so much. I would definitely recommend picking this up if you don't have it. It's like, 
30 something, 39, 37. So it's definitely a good one to get. This palette I recently showed in a favorites and I have to mention it because I think it is so worth it. It's the Dolce & Gabbana, the Desert Quad. It is so, so stinking pretty. It seems like such a basic quad and it is, but I think if you're gonna invest in a really expensive little eyeshadow quad for traveling or just day to day or easy to go to, I think you want something that is pretty basic that you can use every day. And this one is. You have your brow bone color, your crease color, a pretty kind of sandy gold lid color, and then a darker color to use as a liner, smoke out your outer corner, whatever. I absolutely love it. So I think it is worth picking up. That, um, the new Burberry Holiday little 4 in one um, I guess you would, yeah, I guess that's a quad. I think that's definitely worth checking out too. Cause it looks, I don't, I don't know what it looks like. I haven't seen it in person, but it looks really, um, pretty and something you could use a lot. All the Burberry products with you, you can get at the sale are a good deal. I don't know what all Sephora carries. If they carry this, um, Heather, pink Heather eye color cream, definitely think about picking it up. But all the eyeshadows and blushes, they're lovely. I just don't have anything specific. Anything expensive is the time to pick up during the sale, whether it be a new perfume, um, your foundation. It's always good to stock up on staples. However, I don't really need to do a lot of stocking up because I don't use up a ton of stuff. But I think I may get another Anastasia Brow Wiz because I'm pretty much out of brow pencils. And I love it. And with the sale, it's good. I may pick it up from Derm Store. They have it. Um, stuff like that. You know, if you have a true foundation you wear every day that you're about out of, I have plenty of foundations to use up. So I can't say that I need to rebuy one. My cosmetic CC cream I'm running low on, but they don't have it there. Um, the Cover FX Oil Free Foundation I'm curious about. If you've tried that, let me know. I may see if my Sephora, I don't think they have Cover FX. So I don't know. Okay, just a few more recommendations. The Bite Beauty... I think it's the Rewind. I might have called it the Remix. The Matte Lip Tint that I did a whole video on. Uh, if they still have this, pick it up. I'm telling you. If you do not matte, like matte lipsticks, I don't care. I think you'll love them. If you are like, I don't know about those colors, I don't care. I think you'll love them. Worst case scenario, you can always return them, but I don't think you'll want to. I think you'll love them. The Too Faced Love Flush Blush and Baby Love. I don't even have to mention NARS Madly because if you haven't picked it up already with all my telling you to, then you're probably not interested. But it's similar to this. This is just a little peachier. This is new. It's fun. I think it's worth getting. It's a blush that I think everybody would use. It's not like a crazy color that you couldn't use every day. But if you haven't picked up NARS Madly, then now is the time. Laura Mercier Amethyst Caviar Stick. This is a product that I think is not necessarily expensive but you may be like I don't want to spend that much on a cream eye color stick it is so pretty and unique it's like cool taupey purple I wear it on my lash line my lower lash line for just a little bit of definition all the time I wear it on my lid as an eye color it's one of those that when I use it up I'm gonna repurchase and then last but not least, I picked up two lip products. Well, one, it's the YSL Tint in Oil Lip Glosses. I have the shade 3, which is kind of a peachy color. These are so deceiving as what the true color is. So don't look at that. It's kind of a peachy nude. And the shade 4, which is more of like a real pretty hot pink. They definitely turn on the skin more so when I swatch these it's pretty much useless right now there is the shade 4 which turns into a much brighter pink and then there's the shade 3 they have all kinds of shades definitely these are not ones you have to get I'm just saying I think it is such a pretty and neat um lip formula it's very moisturizing you're feeling like you're almost using a treatment but it's a lip gloss and you have color and it kind of develops later through the day. You can reapply it and it leaves a bit of a stain. They're just lovely. They're kind of expensive, so it's definitely worth checking out now. So that was everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely don't want y'all thinking I'm like 
gonna buy all that because I'm not it's just things I'm looking at and I think it's fun to share with other people what's on your radar what are the things that you're looking at because that's where I get a lot of my ideas is on YouTube um, also brushes I think the Sephora collection has some really nice brushes Bobbi Brown the blush brush is my favorite blush brush I've always wanted her bronzer brush but I don't know if I'm ever gonna bite the bullet on that because I have some bronzer brushes I love. The Marc Jacobs blush, I mean, bronzer brush, I know people love about that. Um, I would gladly take it if somebody gave it to me, but I don't think I want to spend my money on it. And, you know, anything else expensive is always a good buy, but these are just the things I'm looking at and the things I think everybody should pick up. Recommendations, of course. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of nice to buy something fun that you may not have purchased at full price so anyways that is all for this year tell me what is on your radar if you shop the friends and friend family sale tell me what you picked up if you think any of these things I'm looking at are good or bad tell me to kind of help me narrow it down because it is definitely going to be hard and um I will talk to you guys later bye